Hello, family and friends and community. Um, my name is Angelica Lear, and uh, I was asked to do a four minute video, a testimony. And um, I'll be really honest, when I first got this email, I just kind of deleted it. <laughs> um, I had no idea how to summarize uh, 20 plus years of walking with God in four minutes. So I just didn't even try. <laughs> um, but then, you know, circumstances have changed for all of us. Um, I would say there's probably not a soul on this planet who has not been in, you know, affected in some way by what's going on. And for us in Utah, we're kind of just at the starting point of what this is really going to look like for us. And so uh, my conversation with God this week has been one of encouragement and challenge. And I wanted to share it with you guys um, because I think it's applicable. And um, the purpose of testimony is to be vulnerable and share where you're at, you're at and allow community to speak into it and, you know, vice versa. So, um, as I said, you know, what a time to be alive. Everybody is being impacted right now by this crazy thing happening in our world. Um, you know, in our household, Zach is a police officer. And if you are a first responder or you work in the medical field or you're keeping our stores stocked, um, thank you. It's an incredible sacrifice to have to be on the front lines and people like that don't get to just stay home. I mean, you guys still have to go out and do your job so society can continue on in some fashion. So thank you. Um, if you do anything like that, we deeply appreciate you and um, are praying for you. Um, but anyway, so as this, these circumstances continue to get more more real, um, Zach and I have been experiencing some turmoil in our household, to say the least. Um, Zach and I, um, we have a tendency in our marriage to, uh, when things get stressed, stressful, we don't always handle it in the most healthy way and we start like nitpicking at each other or we, you know, have a shorter fuse. And the last two weeks, we've been faced with a lot of unknowns and a lot of just um, stressors. And there's uh, also the element of we're all feeling lonely because we can't really meet with our community in the same way we're nor normally used to. And so feeling all these things, um, the way that God and I usually have powwows is I will run on a treadmill and just put worship music on and try and meet with him. And last night, he definitely showed up um, and he gave me this picture of uh, a battlefield. A war is waging, was waged all around me, um, but there were people beside me. And he said to me, I need you to plant a flag deep in the ground. And in battle, um, when you plant a flag, it doesn't even necessarily mean victory. It just means that this is ground that we are going to hold no matter what. This is what, what we are sticking to. This is a representation of why we are fighting. And for me, um, what God was speaking to me and what needs to, this flag needs to represent is what the only thing we can control in this situation. And that's us, our hearts, our minds, our immediate environment. Um, and so what does that look like? And for us, it was God was challenging me with, it means choosing joy. And it means choosing to be proactive in this season in any way that I can with giving and um, encouraging the people around me in whatever way I can and making sure that my household does not become a place that is lost to the craziness of this season. It doesn't have to be. And um, I don't want it to be. I want this to be a safe place where my, my child can feel safe and secure. My husband can come home from being on the front lines and feel at peace. And so uh, my encouragement to everybody who's watching this is that stick stick your flag deep in the ground and you really know what that means to you. Um, we don't have to let this season happen to us. We can come out on the other side of it better for having been through this. We can happen to this season almost. So uh, yeah, that is my encouragement for you guys. Obviously, this is easier said than done. It's a daily choice, a day, and sometimes it's sometimes it's moment to moment. Um, but I do really firmly believe that God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And even though the battle is waged in front of us and is still to come, we still have a choice to make in this season and choices to make every day on how we're going to respond. So.
yeah, so that's my encouragement to you guys, and I hope everybody's staying safe and well out there. Love you guys.